Hello everybody, my name is the IT guy and welcome to another video. So when looking at system cleaners, just a simple Google search will redirect you to all kinds of software that either have a limited free version or the full version in trial mode. It's quite annoying when you need to clean your system very quickly and the exact feature you like is not included or the next time you want to clean your PC, you need to buy a license to use that same feature you could use when you just installed it. Just have a look at Seed Cleaner. So Seed Cleaner has a free version uh, ever since its, since its uh, existence, but you need to go for the pro version if you want to get the full feature set. So the pro version doesn't even give you that much extra. Even though it's a very low cost, you can get quite the same features on free and open source alternatives. Uh, and of course, you need to know where to look. So that brings us to uh, this amazing website I found. Well, actually, I've been using it for a while now, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So it's fosshub.com. And this is a place where you can find all free and open source alternatives uh, for any kind of software. So uh, for this video, I've chosen three pieces of software that will sort of replace uh, the things that CCleaner actually does and it will do it at a full feature set so you don't have to you know you don't have to uh, compromise when it comes to features uh, the only thing that you know that you'll need to do is you know use three of those softwares instead of you know having just one that does it all uh, but again all of those things that are included in, in CCleaner are uh, included in those three pieces of software and CCleaner free doesn't even have all the features that those three f pieces of software that I'm going to present to you right now have so stick with me here um, so the, th the only difference between CCleaner and the other ones is also uh, that uh, and the, pro the programs that I'm going to present to you right now is that CCleaner does have this active mode where it scans for uh, issues on your computer but if you really need that on your computer if your computer is already that slow and you really need some software that keeps your PC fast quote unquote uh, that doesn't work out it doesn't make sense because your PC is already struggling with whatever software is running in the background and now you're gonna get this software that cleans up after you know after you've done some browsing and after you've done some pc work it just cleans up your temporary files but that doesn't really make your computer faster and it keeps running in the background and it hogs up resources and it doesn't really make sense that if you're you're running a computer that's already slow you're going to run something in the background to make it faster just having a one-time cleanup is a lot more efficient and this is exactly what these softwares do so the uh the three programs that i'm going to present to you in this video do exactly the same thing that ccleaner does maybe ccleaner does have some some things here and there that it might have uh more than whatever it is that I'm going to present to you right now, but nothing that I know of that really makes a difference when it comes to speeding up your computer and cleaning up your computer, which is most likely the reason why you download CCleaner. So uh, without further ado, let's just create, uh, get straight into it. So the first one is BleachBit. So BleachBit, you can actually just type in uh, Bleachbit for you can do this for any software. You can just go to fosshub.com. You can type in Bleachbit, and you'll get uh, you'll get taken to this uh, website over here. And you can download Bleachbit over here and then install it. And let's go ahead and open up Bleachbit. So as you can see, Bleachbit has a very basic interface. It's um, just in checkboxes here and there. So basically what you do is you just select whatever you want to clean up. So let's just say Firefox over here. I want to clean up my Firefox uh, temporary files. So it's going to say warning. This option will delete your saved passwords. You know, that's quite all right because I actually only use Firefox to browse the internet when I'm making YouTube videos. Um, you can choose to have it for Google Chrome. And there are a lot of other things that you can uh, clear as well. So you can 
clear the whole system if you want to. So it's going to say like things like this, like uh, warning regarding the system free disk space. This option is very slow. So it's always telling you that, hey, you want to clean your PC? This is going to take a while. So these are the good things that they, they, they do warn you if you... If you want to do a quick clean, you don't have to select the free disk space. You can unselect that, but all the rest can be pretty uh, pretty speedy. Also, it has a deep scan, so it can look for backup files, temporary files, thumbnails. Um, I'm not going to do the cleaning right now because there's no need for it right now. But this is just a, a quick overview of what uh, BleachBit looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and close BleachBit. Um, next one is uh, going to be... Wretch Seeker or Rex Seeker, however you want to pronounce that. So Wretch Seeker is a, a registry cleaner that um, that does basically the same thing that any registry cleaner does. Uh, I also have it installed right now. Let's go ahead and open it. Uh, you can go into registry over here. There is an option for computer cleaning, but it doesn't really do as a th uh, as much as a deep cleaning or a, as much as a thorough cleaning as BleachBit does. So I don't really use this option. So just go into registry, clean registry. Let's uh, click startup over here. And right now, when it's scanning, you'll see all these errors. Extension is not used. Uh, when you scroll down, extension is not used. All of these um, possible errors well these are not really errors for example the extension is just not used so it's just taking up space inside the registry so it can be cleaned up um, so just wait for the scan to complete here and other other uh, errors like file or path does not exist let's say for example uh, there are a couple of um, there's, a, some, there's some software that has been installed it's been uninstalled but the uninstaller didn't really remove all of the registry keys things like that Th these are not really like the worst kind of things that can happen but you know the registry cleaner will find those uh unnecessary uh, unnecessary registry entries and actually go ahead and delete those so when this is completed this is not all you have to do you still have to go into the right corner over here and then you can select all the green items, uh, select all the red items. Let's start with the red items, then right click those and then delete the selected items. And then it's going to ask you if you want to create a backup. Let's go ahead and do that because, you know, you never know if you accidentally delete something that, uh, that you still need. So when the... When the, when the errors have been resolved, you'll see that the color turns from red to black. Uh, then the same thing goes for the green items. So select all green items and then right click that and delete the select items just like that. Also as well, make sure you keep it back up just in case. And yeah, this is a, a nice cleanup. So yeah, basically everything that needed to be cleaned up is cleaned up right now so let's go ahead and close that and should you need to should you need to uh you can always uh, go over to backups and you can select the backup you need if you deleted a registry key that is um that is linked to software that no longer works or anything like that you can just click that right click it and then restore the backup and it will restore the backup that you created before cleaning the computer so let's go ahead and close this. Uh, and the last one you'll get to use is the BCU or the Bulk Crap Uninstaller. Um, bulk Crap Uninstaller is... So Bulk Crap Uninstaller, BCU as it is also known, gives you the ability to uninstall software that is not even listed in the standard... Um, programs uh, apps and features over here so if i go to apps and features there are going to be some um there's going to be some software that's no that's not really listed in here so there's a there you no know, you can find it in this list and it's, it's going to look for an install install an uninstallation uh, executables on the computer and it's going to list it over here so sometimes Things that, are in, uh, that aren't listed over here, like over here, uh, they will be listed over here. So if you have trouble finding the software that you have installed and uh, 
you don't really find uh, the uninstaller for it, just run bullcrap uninstaller. Uh, it might it might help you out. So the way this works is you actually just select whatever software you want to uninstall. Let's just say I want to install Ardor, and let's just say I also want to uninstall. Uh, let's see here, uh, East Steam Surfer or something like that. Uh, whatever what you do then you 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 select the software that you want uh, by holding the control button actually let's select another thing over here let's uh let's see here what do we still need oh kaden life i don't use that anymore so let's uninstall here and you can you can you can choose to uninstall it quietly but i'm not going to do that uh, because i want to see whichever program is being installed uh, is being uninstalled at that moment Hit continue. These settings can remain somewhat default, and then you can begin the uninstallation. So it's going to load up every uninstaller one by one, so you don't always have to go back to the uh, to the apps and features menu. So this one is done. It starts the next one. So you just click uninstall. Okay, and then it's going to ask you if you want to uninstall this one. Okay. And now it's completed let's close that up uh, then it's going to ask you if you want to look for leftovers you want to hit yes searching for leftovers is going to really clean up everything so it's going to search for see it finds some of those leftover uh, uh leftover folders it's going to look for some leftover uh registry keys and it's really going to show you which ones um which ones can be deleted and uh it's always always going to say like it's okay to remove it so the confidence is good and this one is also good and this confidence is also very good so that means that the program is pretty sure that you don't really need those uh, registry keys or uh, folders anymore so let's go ahead and select uh, delete selected over here do you want to create the registry backup you can go ahead and create that uh, you can just call it ba something like that Oh, it just wants me to select a folder. Well, I... oh, it just wants to be so. Let's select the folder. Okay, and then you can do the whole process over again should you want to. If you have more software you want to uninstall, then that works. I do. I do think that sometimes it does have some issues with Steam uninstallations. Uh, so if you want to uninstall Steam um, Steam games it sometimes doesn't work but for other other um, uninstallers it works just fine so there you have it a complete feature set of pc cleaning without ads or trials uh, thank you guys for watching if you like this video leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye